start on with how to solve this issue so the logic is clear i want to know what is the order number that has got created i know order number is created after the insert order and to the object order number object because to retrieving the order number i need to know the object and the property of the object so order number object i know it is visible in the form next i like to retrieve from that object using get properties the property which holds the number in this case in case you don't know the property which holds the order number you can use spy and see which property is holding the order number i in my case i know it is a text property i like to retrieve the property text after the insert or there are several ways we can retrieve the property of an object one we can use usual step generator get properties second we can also use active screen output value i click on the object from which i like to retrieve the property right click insert output value insert output value is another method i can use to retrieve the property of an object output value i can use it in two ways one during recording using insert insert output value this is one of the way insert menu output value you can see to the right there are output values this is one method this can be used only when you are in the recording mode then you will get an hand symbol with that you can select the object second i can use it through active screen when active screen select the object right click on the object insert output value i am now using the active screen in another time we will use insert through output value so i select the output value i click on win edit order number i select okay i choose the property text this is the property i know will have the order number after the insert order finished as create insertion i like to add that text property and store the value into output type i can modify the output type you can see the available output types data table and environment user defined parameter in this data table i like to store i store it with order number is my parameter dt underscore order number i like to store the value i can store it in global sheet or action sheet in this case i want this order number to be used by other actions as well since this order number has to be used by other actions i am supposed to use global sheet so i select the global sheet and this is the parameter name and other sense column name i say okay i click on after the current step because currently i am in the insert order click after the current step i like to add that in the script if i click okay you can see now line number 11 got introduced and line number 11 you can see the method called output on the object order number this is the logical name of the order uh, object and i am using the output as a method and checkpoint it is not a physical checkpoint this checkpoint is the parameter created by the script for storing retrieving the order number text property once i finish it off 
I cleared the screen. Now, I like to run this create order alone. I like to check in data table DT order number that you notice the parameter created in global sheet. Under this parameter, I like to see order number 21, whatever the order number that generated by insert order it appears in this column. I like to check that. I like to do it by running create order alone. I don't want to run all other actions. So I go to the create order, select that action. In the expert view, click on that action. Beginning of this action, click on run from step. I say OK. It is going to execute now. Only that action is going to execute now. So he's executing. Just watch the yellow cursor as it moves. We know line number 11 is retrieving the order number. Line number 10, after insertion of line number 10, application takes some time to process that order. By that time, the execution marker moved to the line number 11, completed the line number 11. Since the data that is retrieved, it's a runtime value. If I want to see what value it has got retrieved, I need to get into automation result. This is will open up my last run result. Menu, automation, click on result. This will open up the last run result. I open this. In this, I like to see whether data table has captured the value. If I see in the bottom of the grip, right hand side, captured data, data table. In data table, you are not seeing any data here. There is no captured data as well. Because as now I rerun the script, watch that execution marker closely. After insert order, application takes some time to process the order. By the time it completes that process, line number 11 gets executed and line number 11, he sees a null value in that order number and that null value is retrieved and stored it onto the DT order number. And that is why you are not able to see the order number physically in the application after the run. I run it again. Just watch the cursor. I am using run from step. Only that action will get executed. The other actions will not get executed if I use run from step. Fly from, fly to. So he's inserting the order number. Please note that execution marker. It has now already crossed that line. So he is not able to retrieve the order number. During that time it retrieves, order number was blank. This concept is called synchronization point. Synchronization point is very very important concept because the application takes some time to process. I want to synchronize QTP script execution to my application behavior. In this case, application takes more time and since during that time he is able to access that object. He is not waiting for the default timeout time. So if I have to use, I will right now, I will not go into exact synchronization point that is called wait property. I will now use simple wait. Wait 10 seconds. 
Now after insert order, I am forcing QTP to wait 10 seconds. It is a default wait. Whether the action is completed or not, he will wait for 10 seconds. With this, now I will run the script. See what happens. I run the script, run from step. is executing now. So after insert order click you can see now wait statement is holding QTP from further execution. Now you can see the order number below 133. Now he retrieves this order number and this order number will get stored into the runtime object. Since now you are not able to see it after the execution in QTP because it's a runtime value. If I have to see the runtime value, automation, results, this will open up the last run result. In this last run result, you can now see the data table and you can see the value in the data table 133. This is the order number that has got generated while you are running the script. I want to use this order number in my subsequent execution. To do that, first is I am sure that now after this line number 11, or line number 12, it retrieves the order number, stores the value. To use this in update order, I go to update order. In update order, where I have to use, I know I have to use it in the open order, win edit. Instead of 127, I like to use 133 or 34 that is generated by create order. Whatever order number generated by create order, I like to use that order number over here. To do that, if you know the command, you can directly type it. Now, data table parameter command, data table within bracket, column name has to be in a string followed by DT global sheet. In this case, it is global sheet. If I don't remember the command, come to the keyword view select the object that you want to parameterize. I know it is an edit object and I like to set the value 127. Select the value. You can see the configure value and that configure value I like to click. Uh, using that configure value I use data table as a parameter. Selected the parameter data table as a parameter from global sheet and go to DT order number. I am doing it in the update order. Same thing I need to do it in delete order as well. Before you move to the next action, make sure that either you move to the expert view and see that the script has changed, then move. Otherwise, the script might not got updated. So, in this delete order, I have selected delete order. I like to change 127. I come to keyword view. Now, I am in the delete order action. Select the order that is edit. Set the value now using configure value. You can see that value configuration option. Choose parameter. In this parameter, choose data table, global sheet. I am using this DT order number. I say OK. Now, the update order script and delete order script has changed. The value has been assigned to the order number that has got created using create order action. 
and this value is create order action assigns this value to the parameter called data table parameter <coughs> dt order number and using dt order number as a global sheet parameter i am configuring that value in the update order and delete order simple i run the script this is the way you manage dependable actions one action is depending on another action and here since we have made it as an independent action we have used global sheet as one of the parameter since global sheet can be accessed by all the other actions as well now you notice is going to click on insert order button as he clicks the insert order button wait time holding the qtp script order number that has got generated is 134 and that order number is retrieved by line number 12 now and that is being stored in data table and that order number is used in update order now the same order number will be used in delete order as well now maintainability of the script has been improved or there is no problem with the data now to the script so now you can see order number selected is 134 this is for a delete order and that order number is being deleted so this is the way I can manage dependable action I save this file this file I call it as a multiple action 